Hello teachers, this video will show you how to copy last year's SLO and bring it back to life. Please note that it is a three step process where first we'll copy the SLO, then we'll copy the student portfolio, and finally we'll add your current year students into your SLO. Let's begin. Step one is to copy the SLO and bring it back from the archives. To do that, we're gonna click on Strive, allow it to load. At the very top middle, you'll find where it says Archived Goals. We're gonna click there once on Archived Goals. And what you're looking for is the goal that says Student Growth from the year 2023. It'll probably be near the very top. So again, you're looking for the student growth goal from 2023. You can tell because the date is right there in the middle. Once you find it, go ahead and click on the sentence and this will open last year's SLO. Now we want to bring it back from the archives. So what we're going to do is on the upper right hand corner, find where it says copy to new goal. Go ahead and click once, copy to new goal, allow it to load. What we're gonna do now is change the start date and the target completion date. The start date for this year will be 9-5-2023. Be careful not to add an extra zero in front of the nine or an extra zero in front of the five as Strive doesn't like that. Again, you would put start date 9-5-2023. Target completion date will become 4-5-2024. Again, avoid putting zeros in front of the four and five. You know you've done it correctly if this circle turns green and has a date on it or a number of days on it. What you want to do now is go ahead and click save. That was step one, which is bringing back your SLO. Now we're going to worry about step two, which is copying the student portfolio. To copy the student portfolio, we're going to go ahead and go to the very upper right hand corner and find what we call the waffle. The waffle is a series of nine squares put together so it kind of looks like a waffle. We're going to click on it and switch to aware. Allow aware to load completely. Okay notice the screen is blank in the middle but on the left side your classes went ahead and populated it. If for some reason you are a teacher of record and your classes did not populate then you'll go ahead and need to email Mr. Camario at HR so that he can link you to the master schedule. Again, you look for your classes on the left side, scroll down, and you're gonna to wanna to find an area that says, My Student Portfolios. Go ahead and click there. Do not worry, it should load this type of blank screen where it says no items match. What I want you to do is find in the middle upper section where it says archived. Click on archived, and you're gonna find your various SLO portfolios from the previous years. The one I want you to pay attention to, but not click on, is the one with the paperclip. Don't click on it, but just find it. On the very right side, you're going to see three vertical dots under the word action. Again, find the SLO portfolio with the paperclip. Click on the three vertical dots and click copy. Give it five seconds or so as this is going to make a copy for you. Notice your milestones are already in place. However, this is a copy of your last year's SLO, so we need to update it. To update it, we're going to find the title but I want you to click on the three vertical dots next to the title, probably where it says copy. Click on edit portfolio details. Now, what we would like for you to program your name of your portfolio this year is put the year 23, 24, put your name, initial and last name, put the subject you are focusing on for your SLO. And if you're a secondary level, put what period you're gonna be going ahead and focusing on. If you're in elementary, please go ahead and put what grade you'll be focusing on. Okay. If for some reason it is a special type of class like GT or pre-AP or AP or inclusion or um, um, resource, you're going to go ahead and type in the uh, words right there in the title so that we'll know exactly wh what year we're talking about, who the teacher is, what subject it is, what grade or period, and if there's a special label for that class. When you're done, click done. You're gonna notice that the title goes back to the very top and is now updated. Okay, that was step number two. Now we're gonna go on to step three. 
Before we add students, we're going to want to check our work. We do that by going back to the waffle on the upper right hand side, click on it, go back to Strive, allow it to load. We're going to go ahead and find where it says student learning objective. Now you're going to see your foundational skill appear, but this one will say due by 4 5 2024. Notice I'm not on the upper part where it says September the 1st, but I'm on the foundational skill. Go ahead and click there. It should highlight gray when you're in the foundational skill area. This will open up your SLO. You have the correct dates. But what I'm interested in is making sure that you have the correct portfolio snapshot. You should notice that it now updates to the new one that you just did. The milestone should hopefully be seven and students should be at zero because we've not added students. If for some reason your milestones don't say seven, it's because you set it up incorrectly the previous year and you'll have to go back and go ahead and add the correct milestones. Now it's time to add your students. To add your students, you're gonna go ahead and click on the hyperlink under name where it says student portfolio. When you get back to the screen, you can either click where it says add students or you can click on the pencil. Once you do that, it'll take you to the screen with your students. Simply click on the boxes next to their name and that will allow you to add students by doing so like this. If for some reason you picked a student that you didn't mean to, all you need to do is check the name off again and it will remove the student. When you're done, click done. You are now ready to go ahead and begin rating your ISP and TSP targets for the year. That should catch you up to the deadline of September 29th. Thank you.